Hello uh, everyone, let's talk about limits. Uh, before we talk about limits, let's see if we can have um, really understanding of limits. For example, I have, it's just a simple way to explain uh, what actually the limits are. So if I have linear function x minus 7, and uh, if I put uh, a really close number to 8, like not actually plug in 8 for x, I actually plug in a really close number to 8, like 8.0001 and minus 7. So if I subtract this, I am going to get 1.0001. I already did this on the calculator. You guys can see it, 1.001. .001. So when you round it up, it's going to give me 1, right? So actually, I'm getting closer, closer, closer to 8, but I'm not actually getting to 8, okay? So I can pick 8.1, 8.001. 8.100 something like that and then you will end up one anyway so you get close to one so you do not actually plug in eight okay that's what the limits are you approach to eight okay this is my equation that's the graph up here on the right side and this is my uh, coordinate of the hole in the graph that's x that's a y value and that hole is right there you see it Okay, now let's try and do these problems. It will make more sense when we do more. As x approaches, this is a pre-calculus statement and I will show you calculus limit notation. As x approaches negative infinity, the graph of f of x is equal or is approaching where? That where means they are asking what is the y value there when, you, when the x is approaching negative infinity. Now, how we do this? Let's pay attention to this. X approaches negative infinity. So if you guys look at it, that's my x-axis up here. I'm, I mean, I want to make it darker because I want you to look at it. That's my axis, x-axis, right? This one over here is my y-axis. Okay, that's a y-axis. So, if I'm approaching negative infinity, x approaching infinity, this is my x-axis. And negative infinity means I'm going in this direction, right? I'm going in this direction. So, it means my graph that is going in this direction right there. That's my negative infinity, okay? That's where I'm going. I'm going to go continuously in negative infinity over here. And I have this horizontal asymptote right there. It doesn't matter where my graph goes, like all the way up here, but I'm not going to cross this horizontal asymptote, which means my y value is going to still stay 2 when I uh, go to negative infinity, like I'm going to keep going to negative infinity. My y value is going to still stay 2. So my y value in here is 2. How do I write this as a limit notation, a calculus limit notation? It's going to go limit x approaches negative infinity this arrow means approaches okay of f of x is equal to okay instead of equal i should have an approach because you really not getting to two like it's just close to two so approach would be fine but okay that's that's what it is that's how they say it okay so that's my answer too Let's go back to next one. As x approaches infinity, positive infinity, the graph of f of x is what? What is the y value up here now? This is my positive infinity. You can see this. This is the graph that going in the positive direction of x axis, this one. And I still have that horizontal asymptote. So if the graph is going in this direction, you know I'm going to end up again 2. That's a 2. How do I write this? It's going to be limit x approaches positive infinity of f of x is equal to again. Got it? Okay. Let's go back. And I have the same graph up here, so I don't have to go up and down. Okay. So I don't have to go up and down. Let's see. As x approaches negative 3 from the left, 
negative 3 from the left. That's negative 3 and that's the left. Now I'm going to use a different color so we can see clearly. This is my negative 3 up here. And this side approach from the left. So do you see this is negative 3 and the left side of negative 3 is up here, this x-axis. And where is the graph on the left side? That's the left side. And when I approach to the left of negative 3, I'm getting closer and closer to negative 3, but not actually negative 3. So when I get closer to negative 3, my y value is between 1 and 2. Right there, 1 and 2. So what is actually my number? They are giving us in the question negative 3x is equal 7 sixth y. So negative 3x, 7 sixth is my y value. So this is 7 sixth. How do I write this as in calculus? It's going to be limit x approaches negative 3 from the left. Left means that negative sign from on the right of 3 of f of x is equal 7 sixth. Okay, now as x approaches negative 3 from the right, negative 3 from the right. So this is negative 3, right side portion is this for the x-axis, and where is the right graph of negative 3 that is approaching negative 3 is this one. So if I go along this graph from the left and get to negative 3 up here, Again, my y value is going to be 7 sixth. Limit, limit x approaches negative 3 from the right of f of x is equal 7 sixth again. Okay, x approaches 3 from the left. I'll change the color. x approaches 3 from the left. So left means that's 3 and they are positive 3 talking about positive 3. So that's a positive 3. Left of positive 3 is this portion right for the x-axis this one that's the left the graph of f of x what is the y value when i approach from the left side of the uh, approach to three from the left side so this is left so i'm gonna go left 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 when i approach there is no three value because it's a vertical asymptote anyway and i'm gonna go continuously in this direction when i go continuously in this direction it means it's a negative infinity like the y is approaching to negative infinity the way I'm going to write limit x approaches 3 from the left of f of x is equal negative infinity. Up here, as x approaches 3 from the right, the graph of f of x. So now it's right. This is 3. Right side is this side. And the graph on the right side is that portion. So if I go from the right towards 3, to see what is the y value for that 3, you know there is no y value for the 3. It's going positive infinity. So limit x approaches 3 from the right of f of x is equal positive infinity. So that's how all that stuff goes. Okay, let's go here. Based on what you have just seen, how might you informally define what the value of the limit represent in terms of uh, in terms of the graph. Now, the value, I'm going to write the value, <coughs> excuse me, the value of limit x approaches a of f of x represents the y value The y value, the graph of f of x as x approaches a. Okay, technically in simple English, what is the limit uh, x approaches a f of x is going to be the y. Limit is always the y value. Okay, let's talk about Limit existence theorem. What is limit existence theorem? When the limit can be uh, exist. So the limit exists when limit x approaches a of f of x exists if 
and only if this means if and only if limit x approaches a from the left of f of x is equal limit x approaches a from the right of f of x is equal l this l is a real number okay you know infinity is not a real number l is a real number okay i i didn't mention i didn't mention over here uh, right there this one when it approaches negative infinity it means does not exist the limit does not exist because the infinity is not a real number okay i forgot that okay so that's what it is if the limit from the left is the same as limit from the right then the limit exists if they are not the same numbers like they are not the same y values from left and right then limit does not exist okay so in this case limit x approaches a of f of x is equal l so you guys notice here when i talk about left or right i have these small positive negatives on the right side of the number but if i don't have anything up here positive negative then it means i'm talking about both like both left and right if both left and right exist or they have the same number i'm sorry both left and right have the same y value then this limit exists okay let's talk about this question a few more examples this one find each of the following from the graph limit x approaches 2 from the left that's my 2 x2 left you know left side of the graph is right here this is left side of the graph where is the graph uh, left side of 2 where is the graph on the left right here so if I'm approaching from the left side and going towards where the y value of 2 is going to be then you know that there is no y value because it's going continuously in this direction and this is a vertical asymptote so the y value is from the two from the left is positive infinity because it's going towards positive infinity the y values are all positive so it's going in the positive direction now limit x approaches two from the right that's two and that's the right side of the two right so where is the graph of the right of the two that one this portion so if i'm going from the right side right side and going towards the y value of 2 i'm not getting there it's going to be positive infinity again what does this mean this means when your axis 2 what is the y value that they are asking so this is 2 you see there is no graph up there it's a, just a vertical asymptote i don't have any value there so it means it's undefined i don't have anything there okay does limit x approaches to f of x exist or not why or why not you have to answer this and you have to answer this do not skip any parts of the question now we already figured it out this two means left and right both so i already have limit x approaches two from the left x approaches two from the right which is positive infinity and positive infinity so you already know i said limit infinity means not a real number and for the limit we need a real number for y so you're gonna say limit x approaches 2 from the left right i'm not mentioning anything f of x does not exist you have to give them a reason because although and you have to do explanation like this all the time although a limit x approaches a from the left of f of x is equal limit x approaches a from the right of f of x but they do not equal equal to real number to real number so i don't have any real number it's just infinity so it does not exist let's go to the next question this one said find each of the following from the graph x approaches 2 from the left so let's find 2 that's a 2 positive left this is a left side 
So I'm going to start from the left side and this is the graph of left. So I'm going to go left, left, left and I'm going to try to reach the y value where the 2 for the x equal 2. So you know I'm getting close to the 2 but I'm not actually getting the, the 2. So close to 2 is 2. When you round it up it's going to give me 2 anyway. x of which is 2 from the right. Okay, this is my right portion of 2 and the graph on the right side is this one. Okay. So when I go from the right side, I'm going to get to really close to that 2, which is again going to be 2, but not, I don't have like actual the 2 y value for the 2, but I'm going to get close to it. When I get close to it, for example, it's going to be 2.0001. It's going to give you 2 anyway, like we did the example up here on the top right there. Doesn't matter. What, how much close you get to 8, like 8.00001, 8.10001 or something. You're going to get really close to 1. So that's what up here, and you're going to get close to 2 anyway. So that one is 2. What does this mean? It means my x values. What is my y value for 2? It's just a point they are asking, okay? It's not a limit. There is no limit they are asking in this. It's just point. What is the x? If the x is 2, what is the y value for that? So that's a 2. Do you see this is the y value for it? No, because it's a whole. I'm not exactly, I'm getting close to 2, but not actually the value, y value for 2. So if you check, this is a defined point. That's a closed circle. So yeah, if this x is 2, the y value is negative 3. When it's a closed circle, it means that's actual point there. Does limit x approaches 2 of f of x exist or not exist or does not exist? Okay, why or why not? Now, x approaches 2, this means left and right both. So we already got left and right both up here on the top for a and b, so and they are 2. So it means limit exists, right? Because their y values are exactly the same. x approaches 2 of f of x is equal to, right? So the limit exists because uh, limit x approaches 2 from the left of f of x is equal limit x approaches 2 from the right of f of x and all both of them equal 2. So yeah, the limit exists. And that's my explanation. I don't have to give them English every time, okay? Let's try this example. This example says x approaches 2 from the left. That's my 2. Left side graph is this. Uh, left side of 2 is this. And this is the graph of left. If I start going from the left, left and get to this, you know, I can really literally go on top of this closed circle because I know when I plug in 2, I'm getting 3. It's a closed circle. We do have a point there. So that's 3. X approaches 2 from the right. So this is a right side graph of 2. That's 2. That's the right side. And I'm going to go close, 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 close to right. Do you see I'm getting closer to? No matter all, But I can't get to exact 2. This is only one exact 2. This is not. So when I get close to it, 2, and I plug in that 2 up here, you know I'm going to end up negative 3. Close up, uh, like uh, estimate, right? Estimate the, uh, round up the number. What is this? This means if x is 2, what is the y value? That one, which is 3. You are not going to say negative 3 because it's a whole. You don't have a defined point. And this means defined point. Defined means when you have a closed circle. Okay. Does limit x equal 2 exist or not? No, it does not exist because limit from the left and limit from the right are different numbers, different y values. So you're going to say limit x approaches 2 of f of x does not exist because limit x approaches 2 from the left of f of x. Guys, I always do left here. Doesn't matter at all you do right or left. Is equal limit x approaches 2 from the right of f of x. So they're not equal. Okay, let me draw the line on top of it. Not equal. So that's the explanation. Okay, we, I will do more videos on the exam for more examples for limits. And uh, just pause the video, do you yourself, and then play the video again. Bye, guys.